Argentina, in the moment, is the most interesting country of the world, mm. and the most surprising, because what you could expect from a Latin American country in these conditions could have been much worse, it could have been a fascist turnover or whatever. It was not the case, so the Argentine people decided for a libertarian who introduced very radical reforms and he still has the support uh, of the population. Mm -hmm. How can we explain this phenomenon? I think uh, that people understood that there was no room for uh, peaceful reforms and that we, we had to move into a complete different direction. Since the return of democracy after, after military coups in, in, in the 20th century, we had been uh, electing different uh, governments, but they were more or less uh, the same and they were uh, taking the country in a road to decay. Okay? So uh, just people got fed up on that. And, and, uh, and looked for, a, for something else. And then uh, in, that, in that situation comes Javier Milei with a message of, uh, of turning around uh, completely and, and, and trying to do again what Argentina did in the 19th century when it became the, the, the more wealth, wealthiest, the wealthiest country in, in Latin America and one of the top in, in the world. But then after that, following the uh, ideas of statism and populism, uh, we started the way down and we lost all the, that we had been achieved. So Millet came with a message saying, we have to do that again. And, uh, and the way to do it is to free uh, the people, free the, uh, the economy, free uh, labor and, uh, and, and start to produce wealth instead of uh, redistributing it. Because we are always, uh, what we are doing is redistributing poverty. Uh, and, and, uh, and people uh, uh, understood the message, uh, particularly the young, and uh, and and they voted for him. They gave, they said, okay, we'll 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 do that. We'll go for, we'll go for you. I'm not saying that all Argentines are libertarians. No, they just wanted a change, and and Millet uh, is is a change certainly. And so far, you just mentioned that he still gets uh, a substantial support from the people, which is. In a way, one could ask, what, how is that? Because the, the first four or five months of government have been hard on the people. I mean, he, he freed up prices. Um, prices, boom, because there was a repressed inflation. So high inflation, uh, real incomes uh, coming down, uh, but nevertheless, uh, this time it seems that people are willing to uh, take that cost and, uh, because they have hope in the future. So basically what they are saying is, before this, we were bad, but we had no hope. We, our expectation was that we were going to be worse. Now we are bad, but our expectation is that we are going to be better uh, eventually. So, so that was... That's why they still keep some kind of optimism uh, with regard to the future. Um, I suppose that you know personally Millet. Mm -hmm. How would you describe his character? Well, he's a character. He has a strong personality. And uh, as he is as you see him. Uh, and uh, he's not pretending to, to be anything uh, different. He's exactly as you see him. He's uh, intense, passionate, and, and has uh, strong values. And I think he will never 
uh, laid them down. He, he's not going to forget about those uh, values. And, uh, and that's why he's so different in politics. Because polit in politics, most politicians just say what they think people want to hear. That's not Millet. Millet just says what, what, what he thinks, straight. And he doesn't care whether that is a good or bad from a political perspective. I think this, this is what I'm, what I'm going to say and this is what I'm going to do. And in the end, people say, yeah, he is as it is, as he shows himself with this, sometimes it looks like a violent character. Uh, I mean, he's, he's very, very enthusiastic, and, uh, but that's how he is. And, 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 and people are considering that he's honest, showing him, himself in that way. He's not pretending to be anything else as, as what, what, what you see. Well, one thing is public opinion in the sense what the people mm -hmm. think. And the other thing is published opinion, uh -huh. what the mass media uh -huh. write. Yes. So um, I don't think that, that there is a coincidence between these two positions in Argentina. No, no. you're right. Media are generally uh, critical. First of all, the media, the journalists, first of all, they, they took them by surprise because they don't know what a libertarian is. So they started, what is a libertarian? They have no idea what difference may be between a libertarian and a classical liberal or, or a Randian or, they have no idea. So they started writing about Millet, but without much knowledge about what this is all, all about. Millet would quote, uh, in, in his speeches, he would quote, uh, I don't know, Murray Rothbard, and the journalist, who, who, who is your Rothbard? And, but and mostly, most of them didn't even care to go and find out who that was or to read something about that. So they started to give opinions on Millet, but really without much grounding on that. Probably they are starting to, to learn now. But basically, they have been critical. And I must say that they are, um, uh, not all of them, of course, but, but they are critical because of two, of two reasons. One is that because they, they themselves are, I would say, ideologically uh, social democrats or, or, or in the left. So, so they, they, by principle, they, they don't like that. And the other thing is that also a question of, of, of uh, say, economic interest, because the first thing that Millet did when he uh, took office was he canceled all government propaganda in the media. So there were a lot of uh, media who were just surviving because of government advertising. So, and now this was cut. And now he said, well, you take care of yourselves. But, but there's no government money going into, into, into advertising, which was an abuse before because that was the way uh, successive governments have kind of, uh, let's say, bought the favor of, uh, of the media by giving them money. And, and, and some of them just survived because of that. So that's another reason why they are against him. The third point is... We talk about media population, or we talk about the army, mm -hmm. which has a long tradition of political interferences, of mm -hmm. military rule. Yeah. Uh, how sure can Millet be that, he, that they won't yeah. interrupt his, his uh, uh, policy? I think he's pretty sure, because that, that's, that's gone, that's in the past. I think that not, not only now, but I would say 20 years back or 25 years back, the, the military understood that the role is something else and they, they don't even pretend to have any, any open opinion on politics or any participation whatsoever. So the military is not 
something that that ha that has a I don't know any intention to uh, participate in the political arena. They they just uh, after their very bad uh, let's say uh, circumstances that they themselves created back in the 1980s. They just let's say retire to the barracks and and stay there. Mm -hmm. They are, they are not going. They are not going to do that. It's that that's not going to be a problem. Now what what Millet is doing is actually uh, uh, trying to regain some some of the of the republican let's say reputation of of an army because during the last uh, government Peroni's government and the Kirchner's they they were uh, mistreated the the military constantly mistreated and 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 now Millet is coming back and say no you 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 have a a place in a in a republic uh, you give us a defense and we're going to honor uh, those who uh, gave their lives uh, in in favor of the republic uh, of democracy and and uh, and we are not going to we we're going to bring you back from from uh, from obscurity let's say and uh, and and bring you to the role that you deserve in a, as, as in any uh, democratic country. Is there, um, Argentina is part of Latin America, there is a, a network, very effective leftist network, I would say with Lula on the top, mm -hmm. and then Venezuela and Cuba, whatever. Could you imagine that there will be a Lula in Argentina who stands up against Millet? Not so far. I, I, I don't see. I don't see that. We still cannot say. If we had elections now, who would be the opposition candidate? Uh, nobody no, knows. That's not easy to find out uh -huh. uh, at at this point. There probably will be one in a couple of years, but uh, no. They they have uh, the the Peronis who have left uh, government. They are still divided. They don't have a clear leadership. Uh, so, actually, the truth is that from a political perspective, I don't see there is anything in front of Millet so far. Mm -hmm. We don't know it later. How long do you think that the, let's say, the hard times for Argentina mm. will still last? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. That's very difficult to say, but probably this year, and 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 things may start to uh, turn around uh, in the second half of, of this year. Uh, in inflation by the end of the year, I think may may get to a digit, uh, and uh, and and the economy picking up. But that depends on how much of the reforms he can get approved in Congress. The more reforms he gets approved, the faster the uh, growth will be. Uh, but he's facing a, a lot of resistance. Uh, and and you, you may have seen already that as soon as he got inaugurated, he sent a bill to Congress with about I don't know, 600 articles. Uh, reforming the whole economy. That was stuck in in Congress, so he he, he uh, took it back and sent another. Okay, not six hundred. Let's say two hundred and fifty articles. That went back again to Congress, and again they are stripping up out uh, this. I don't know what is going to come out of that. The more it comes out, the more we will have a boom. In, in many areas of the economy that are waiting for new conditions in order to invest in, in, uh, in, in areas that are, are very promising in, in Argentina. Thank you very much, Mr. Krause. Okay, that was a pleasure.